In this video, we will import requirements from Excel and uh, we will use straightforward way by copy pasting. This is one of the maybe five ways to import from Excel, but this doesn't require to convert Excel to CSV. Comma saturated values also imports relations uh, together on first import. So the only thing what we need to do is to format data in a specific way that we need to have name of requirement which could be also requirement ID, actually. Then uh, we can have also ID as a separate, right? Then we can have uh, text, uh, which is like requirement text, and then derive requirement property. And if, for, for example, if I want to insert, you know, ID here, ID, let's say this will be the name and this will be ID, right? Because it makes sense to have it uh, also filled in ID, right? So here you go now this why i'm using the name as id because um, in any case requirements in excel or somewhere doesn't have the name in most cases but uh, the model element uh, name is the primary identifier is the unique identifier right so and the path based uh, on the name and now the right uh, requirements column here is the one which uh, is uh, representing the target or source of the relation. Uh, when we will import, we will pick what relation, and this will be a result of the it will result into the created relation and the linked elements. So we now we can use those names. And here is one trick: you need to click Alt uh, Enter, and that will create uh, another line, and then you can pick uh, which will be that connected uh, that another uh, requirement uh, related right so you can put not one but you can put many related here so for example okay right okay now i will select this excel table save go back to the model create requirements table this is the way to paste it to the table because we want properties to come now we need to have same uh, columns as in the excel name text show column id it should be third one or whatever we want to paste to and derive right that's the last one so name id text derive and then we can click select this table and click so we copied data in the Excel and then Control V to paste. So we get the list of the requirements here, uh, types, and we choose the requirement uh, and we paste it. So we get uh, everything in and you see this uh, status tells us 14 were imported, zero failed, zero updated. And uh, update is also possible, right? So in text went through, ID went through, the name, and it see the name of ID is here, right? This uh, in gray color is ID. So if I will create, you know, like uh, requirements, uh, for example, uh, derive matrix, and will set that those requirements come from this package, I will get that list of relations. Uh, same I can show in the table, in the diagram, requirements diagram and then take those requirements and uh, drag them here and say uh, show me display all paths and then uh, lay out everything so here we have the hierarchies of requirements nicely aligned right so i will save this project and if you would do some changes you know in the model you can also import uh, changes back or, uh, import again you know this this method allows you to also important if you don't change the names uh, as a unique identifier so for example i will change this one long one to some uh, different in and another long one to some other different text and that could be any property right so now let's select again all data copy go back here and import again requirement And you see that uh, uh, those were updated, right? So we see that those guys were updated and everything was recognized and nothing is missing in this case. This is very straightforward way. Again, one of the maybe five ways, but it is easy to import those relations. On the first import, uh, it comes through, right? Many relations could come through to many elements at the same time as requirements.